This is Andrea Road Show. We on the road. I'm so happy to be live right here from Kampala, Uganda. And basically the Andrea Roadshow is about to take place right here. We're going to go to the square, we have a blast. Remember on the 30th of November we have a show at the square and I'm going to ask all my friends, everybody, you know, you need to come there. Bringing a lot of talents from Sudan, Juba, you know, everywhere. Be there. Love you all. Andrea, say, Andrea, Andrea, one more time, Andrea, Andrea. I'm a dancehall, reggae, and stroke Afrobeat artist. You know, Africa, we normally do happy and uh, dance music. When you listen to music and you, you, know, you cheer up, that's what I do. I, 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 just the music. You know, I'm an artist and I want to explore, I want to reach the world, but sometimes I don't know how I can do that. So basically I looked at Underwear Roadshow as a platform for me, you know, to explore and, you know, to get into the world. This workshop today was really very amazing because it kind of gave me this feeling of getting to interact with a lot of different artistic souls, people who do diff completely different stuff from what I do. It literally kind of felt like a family reunion because we all came from a different place and we all didn't know each other, each other and then when we came here we just kind of blended in and it's beautiful. Let's start with the vision that this nation could be better. Listen, this is deeper than you think. Politicians are always going to act like politicians. They prostitute the people to improve their positions. So when you vote for them, you're just giving them permission. We don't need them. We can self organize. Stop expecting the impossible. It's time to realize that we are the ones who've been waiting for. We don't need them on their lives anymore. Thank you. Politically, you know, they said there's borders and then there's North Sudan and then there's South Sudan. But you know what I like? Because politics put the borders, but music has no borders. If you guys know South Sudan, we've been having a lot of trouble with war and, you know, a lot of uh, stuff like not allowing us to go to schools. So I wrote this song. Uh, it's actually a true story. So it was easy writing it because it was part of my story. Broken. The best thing about what I learned today was uh, about social media. You know, the fact that, you know, it's hard for us to actually expose our music or give our music to the world. There's this thing of, uh, you know, when you... You search up and look up an artist, they bring the whole profile on. I love the fact that today I learned what to do and how to do it and where to do it. Getting to learn instruments that I've never seen before, especially the drum, the drum session. It's so interesting that everybody kind of like had energies that connected. I felt like everything flew, everything blended together because people kind of like were open to each other and were easy with each other and were more into like looking forward into like what needs to be done next and what is what are we all doing. We're Drum Circle Sudan. This is our performance group called Tribal.
I think Andrea Rocho was a great opportunity for us. We got um, more exposure and we got to work with different people as well. The last four days have been overwhelming and incredible and unforgettable. We're very grateful.